Let's cry out to God. 45 million babies. Abraham Lincoln said this, if God wills that every drop of blood drawn by the lash would be pay, repaid by a drop of blood drawn by the sword, let it be said that God's judgments are altogether true and righteous. If 600,000 men died on the battlefields of America because of the bloodshed of slavery, what is it going to be in terms of repaid blood on a generation with the heaped up guilt of 45 Unless we plead a better blood. In mass, I fear what comes to America. That tsunami is nothing maybe compared to what comes on the shores of America and on the bloodshed of our own sons and daughters. Let's cry out to God in this scourge. a blood revival give us the blood of Jesus that speaks better than the blood of Abel God we pray for a sweeping communion revival across the land we pray for an army of red warriors who will arise in every city and say Lord no more Father we're praying for a Martin Luther King anointing to come again God that justice will roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever flowing stream. I pray today that this will be a defining moment, that in Kansas City, something happened that created tsunamis of justice rolling over the land, God. We have a dream today, God. We have a dream that America can turn back. I have a dream that abortion can end in America. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. You have never abdicated your throne, God. Is God still the faithful one in America where the covenants have been in this land? Is He still with His people? Is He still going to save us with the Passover of the blood of Christ that's better than the blood of abortion? Is there still a Passover for Haman's decree? I say there is a better blood. Yeah.